Hello YouTube and welcome to another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to be painting the last piece in the Minds of Moria box set and those are the Moria Goblins. Now as I'm sure many of you are aware, Games Workshop have recently brought out 145 new paints replacing the old 74 I think it was old paints and so my previous videos um, are out of date basically now. Um, but like myself, I'm sure many people are still using the old paints. So for this video, I'm going to go through the old paints and just put the new paints in the comments section, well, the uh, description below. And then I'm going to go through all my old videos and put the new paints in the description as well. So painting stage one begins with painting the armour, tin bits. His flesh gets a base coat of Katachan green, his cloth gets base coated with dark flesh, and his leather gets base coated with scorched brown, and his hair and fletching gets base coated with chaos black, and his eyes also get base coated with chaos black. On to a little bit about the Moria Goblins now, and each Moria Goblin is worth 4 points. But because the Moria Goblins aren't heroes, they have no will, might, or fate points. They are small, mean-spirited creatures that live beneath the delvings of the misty mountains. They are also known as Moria Orcs because they have adapted their life beyond the light. On to painting stage 2 now, and that begins with washing the armour in Badar black, washing his flesh in Devlin mud, layering on the cloth with scab red, washing the leather with Badar black, doing the hair and fletching with a highlight of Adaptus battle grey, and painting his eyes Gretchen green. I now have a look at what you get for your 4 points a model. And that starts with their fight skill, which is 2 slash 5 plus. Strength is 3. Their defense is 4. They have 1 attack, 1 wound, and a courage of 2. Now I'll tell you about what kind of war gear they carry. And the base profile for a goblin warrior includes a spiny goblin armor. Though cruelly made, it is quite extensive and often covers the entire goblin from head to foot. Any warrior can be given additional items at the following costs. A sword or a similar handed weapon is free. A spear is additional one point. An orc bow is another additional one point. And a shield is an additional one point. A moria goblin that carries a shield adds one plus to its defence values unless the model is also carrying a bow, in which case it adds nothing. Unlike the heroes, as goblins are not special units, they do not get special rules which can help them in battle. And we're on to painting stage 3 now, which begins with highlighting the armour of bog and metal, Layering the flesh with Katajan green, highlighting the cloth with Mechrite red, highlighting the leather with Bestial brown, highlighting the hair and fletching with a highlight of Codex grey, and finally layering the eyes with Desert yellow. So now we come on to the bit where we discuss how we use uh, goblins in battle. I would like to hear how you would use your goblins in battle, so below um, just comment in the description what kind of armies you use of them and any tactics you have really. And that's what I'm asking for my videos on all the heroes and things, just comment in the description below, tell them how I would use them in battle or how you use them in battle. As Moria is going to meet my dark army, how I'm going to use them is I'm going to have three squads of Moria Goblins as they're really cheap and they're relatively good. I mean, compared to Orcs, they're not the same. 
So you get a lot of attacks and they're uh, good at clogging up heroes and things like that getting in the way. As for special units in the army, the obvious one I'm going to go for is the Cave Troll as it came with the Moria, mine's a Moria box set. I'm also going to go with the Balrog, it's a lot of points but it's a really good, probably one of the best units you can get in the game um, and I've already got one of those as well so that was great. And finally, I would either be looking at getting the Moria King or just simply having some Moria Orc Captains um, and they would be really good at hopefully uh, commanding the entire army. But that's my opinion and like I said, please comment below, I'd like to find out your tactics and things for using Moria Goblins as I find that very useful and I'm sure other people will as well. And finally on to painting stage 4, which begins with a fine highlight of metal silver on the armour. The flesh gets highlighted with camo green. The cloth gets a fine highlight of commando khaki. The leather gets a fine highlight of snakebite leather. And the eyes get dotted with chaos black. And that's the end of the video pretty much now. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. This is actually the last item in the Moria box set, like I said before right at the beginning of the video. Um, it's been one hell of a ride, I've got up to about 60 subscribers on the channel. But don't worry, I'm going to continue with the channel, I'm going to do the Balrog next, which uh, is uh, very related to the Mines of Moria, which I'm sure you'll agree. I will be also doing terrain for the Mines of Moria, and um, like I said on a previous video, I'm now doing some 40k stuff as well. So, um, and not to mention continuing Lord of the Rings, just doing like the Rangers in Middle Earth I got planned for my good army. So uh, keep, please keep subscribing, like the video if you liked it, comment below on the things I said uh, comment about, and uh, thank you very much for watching again. I hope to see you for my next few videos, and bye-bye. Um, Enjoy the last few minutes of the video.